I missed you so much. <laughs> it was me, not you. <laughs> you look great. I was gonna say it wasn't me, it was you, but it was actually, no, we were on a break, I guess, technically. I'm back and I brought presents for you guys, Whoop! which I will tell you about a little bit later. But first, the iPhone 6, Ray Rice, and the top social stories summed up in seconds. Welcome to SLTV. In tech news, Apple mania ensued once again with the launch of the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, and the iWatch, or Apple Watch. Merging the rounded back of the original iPhone and the flat design of the 5S, the 4.7 inch iPhone 6 launched alongside the 5.5 inch Plus, and shopaholics rejoice both phones include a tap to pay system called Apple Pay. But there's one more thing. Apple Watch. Now, I'm personally not that impressed with the design considering this has been hyped for so long, but one of the cool features is you can share and record your heart rate with your friends or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. So, bow, chicka, wow, wow. But let's be honest, the real star of the show was the scarf guy and the internet did not disappoint with their reactions and of course, a parody Twitter account soon followed. In trending news, Ray Rice has been trending since TMZ released video footage of what really happened in an Atlantic City hotel elevator. And I'm not gonna show the video because it's horrifying, but it does show Rice hitting his then fiance, Janae Palmer. The Ravens released Ray Rice and terminated his contract, and of course, celebrities have weighed in on social media. Former Saints and Browns lineman Charles Bentley went on a Twitter tirade, and Seth Rogen called Rice a piece of garbage. But Ray Rice's wife went public on Instagram saying, to make us relive a moment in our lives that we regret every day is a horrible thing. To take something away from the man I love that he has worked his ass off for all his life just to gain ratings is horrific. This has spurred a conversation about domestic violence with the hashtag why I stayed. And in an important lesson for brands, learn from DiGiorno Pizza and research the meaning behind trending topics before capitalizing on them. Now, social news summed up in seconds. Social media is your favorite drug. Because social media provides immediate rewards with very little effort required, your brain begins to rewire itself, making you desire these stimulations. And you begin to crave more of this neurological excitement after each interaction. There's a new social network strictly for emojis. Now we know what you're thinking. This is satire. No one would actually make this thing. It's not. And we have. Snapchat founders settled out of court with their former Stanford classmate, Reggie Brown, who in fact did originally come up with the concept of disappearing images. Netflix, Tumblr, and other major sites took part in a net neutrality protest this week. Adam Levine made a bit of a boo-boo and tweeted from an iPhone after promoting the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Twitter has implemented a buy now button and the guy who leaked naked celebrity photos wants his privacy back. <laughs> Forget it! And I brought presents for you guys. Okay, so meet my new obsession, the Livescribe 3 Smart Pen. This thing is amazing. Basically, you can write notes anywhere. It's just like a normal pen, but then you can digitize them and you can record lectures with it or meetings so you can go back and review your notes. 149 bucks, I'm giving it away. Basically, all you have to do is subscribe and comment below and tell me what you would use this for. School, work, whatever. Get creative. Finally, I'm super excited to be a curator for Network, the first personal TV network for internet video, and I'll be posting all of the SLTV episodes there, as well as my favorite videos from around the web. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back with you guys, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe for more. I will see you next week. I also had this idea. <laughs> uh -oh.